Okay guys, so we just unpacked this beautiful MacBook Pro 2016 version and uh, what I wanted to talk about to you is this little touch bar here because as you can see uh, Ableton is, does not support this feature in, in the MacBooks. Well, right now it doesn't. So hopefully in the future um, Apple will find anything or figure out anything to support this or even Ableton will, will add some feature to its later version of Ableton Live to support the, the touch bar. But right now we don't have anything even if I drop an operator or something here as you can see there's nothing changed here only these iTunes controller stuff Siri volume stuff and everything everything else which is not really important here um, in, in Ableton at last so unfortunately we cannot use a touch bar in this but in everything else I pretty loved it especially in the browser it helped me a lot to use it a lot faster faster so i enjoyed it using a lot basically and the other thing what i want to talk about you and most of you are pretty interested in is uh, the performance of this 2060 version macbook pro and i think we can test it in a very efficient way using serum because serum is a very cpu heavy stuff so i uh, let me just show you what i just set up here I set up a maxed out serum with the two oscillators. Well, I'm using only a simple sidewind, but I pushed up the unison mode to max, max 16 voices, sorry. <laughs> and on the other one too, and I also add warp mode to every oscillators. I added a noise filter, a sub. Oh, I forgot uh, to add another filter here, like, okay, this, this low pace stuff will be good, but don't it that much and in the FX section I had the hyper dimension dimension and as you can see I boosted up the voices here at to maximum seven again an OTT a reverb and another filter to the end of the chain this time it is a reverb filter again so this uh, patch or this preset in, in serum will eat CPU pretty heavily so let's see how many instances we can use uh, at the same time from this maxed out uh, serum and uh, I set up one MIDI note, which is a C3 here, as you can see, to play. So when I hit the play knob, oh, and let me loop it. Okay, so when I hit play button, it plays this beautiful note. Oh, by the way, these little speakers gives pretty intense sound and it doesn't sound that bad. So it, it's definitely a step forward from the previous version of MacBook Pro. Uh, let me just pull back the volume on the main group. Yeah, so probably this won't hurt my ears. So yeah, I set one MIDI note to receive every serum tracks. I also added a limiter to the group. Yeah, so it won't distort. So now let's try to play this little MIDI note and just you know duplicate all the channel until this guy here the CPU meter will you know just give up and die <laughs> or something like even even the sound will crack and lag and, and, and stutter or something so okay let's start so as you can see we now have two instances of serum The CPU meter is on 16, so let's duplicate it again. Okay, we now have, let's see how many serums we have. Um, two is already, so we have like 10 instances of serum, this maxed out serum. And looks like MacBook Pro just, you know, handles it pretty well. So let's keep further and just, you know, try to kill it. Uh,
Okay, so now we are at 32 instances of serum and the sound started lagging now and um, it has some weird crack noises so let's try to decrease in preferences, audio preferences the samples I mean increase it so let's just put it up to the maximum this will set 46 milliseconds output latency this is not too much but even usable let's see how many more instances we can drop serum in Ableton to make it work As you can see with 32 instances and on the maximum latency the CPU meter goes up to about 78% so just try continue duplicating them let me add three more 38 serum 38 Okay, so I think this is the maximum for it, 44, no, 41 instances of Serum makes the MacBook Pro lag. Yeah, even 41 makes it too, so just... Okay, 39. Okay, so 39 instances of maxed out serum. I think this is a pretty cool stuff. Uh, pretty, so it means that MacBook Pro is pretty powerful, but don't forget we used only one node here. So if I used like, I don't know, like a cord or something, it would definitely kill MacBook Pro a lot sooner. So let's try that. Here we are again, so we have one serum with the three voices chords, three note chords. Let's see how far we can go. Okay, this is the end. So it is, let's see, 15 instances of serum. And the CPU is at about 80%. But don't forget that we are using the maximum latency here, which is 64 milliseconds output latency and 20, uh, 2048 samples. So this is pretty high, but I believe that this is uh, still usable. So let's see um, if I hit a key. Oops, what is it? Okay, so this maximum latency means that if I hit one key on my keyboard, So this is pretty high, but still usable. I'm sure you can hear the difference, the time bit difference between I hit the keyboard and the sound plays on in Serum. So on this maximum latency, we had like 39 instances of Serum with one note played, and we had 15 instances of Serum, maxed out Serum, on maximum latency, when I used three notes scored. So I think this is not a bad performance from this 
2016 MacBook Pro. And if you enjoy this little overview, techy kind of performance kind of um, overview on the MacBook Pro, just drop a thumbs up, share my videos and drop your comments. I'm curious your opinion and see you next time guys. Bye bye.